Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do something super fun and really chill and I kind of just want to talk to you guys about my Dungeons and Dragons character. Um, I love to play D&D. I think it's super fun. It's something me and my husband do together. Uh, my husband is actually learning how to be a DM, so we'll be playing it a lot more often. But right now, we're both playing in a campaign, and we're playing D&D 5e, for those of you wondering. Um, and it's so much fun, and I love it so much. So I just wanted to tell you guys some of the uh, hilarious stories that tend to happen when we play. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, jump right into it. So I am drawing my character. Uh, her official name is Fee. She is a changeling bard. So she's a changeling, which means that she can change her face um, to anything. It's like a she can just morph into any other person. So um, <laughs> the people in my campaign actually haven't seen this side of her yet because no one knows she's a changeling yet. And I'll get more into that later. But basically, um, she was born into a family. And she saw this one character, one time, uh, performing. The uh, character's name was Serendipity. And she's a super famous, like, pop star, I guess, in the D&D realm. So she saw this person performing, and it inspired her to be a bard herself. So she learned how to play instruments and how to sing. And she left her home to go adventure and to, you know, be a famous pop star, just like Serendipity. And on her travels, she actually met the famous, the real serendipity. And uh, because she's a changeling, people don't really trust changelings in this universe. They're kind of seen as like sneaky and devious. So the real serendipity was like super mean to her, like a super mega jerk. So my character Fee decided, well, I looked up to this person my whole life and she turned out to be a jerk. So I'm going to be the new serendipity and I'm going to be a nice person. So she kind of stole serendipity's identity. And now she is, uh, she looks just like the real serendipity. You would not be able to tell the difference at all. And now she travels around the realm pretending to be the real serendipity and performing concerts. So that is kind of her backstory in a nutshell. And no one knows that she's not the famous serendipity, like, in the campaign. So she will go to, like, a town or something, and she'll be recognized as the famous serendipity, and she'll get, like, free rooms, and she'll be able to, like, perform and stuff, and no one knows that she's not actually serendipity, uh, which is kind of funny for me. Um, there have been a few times where, like, I've been close to revealing my secret, but... <laughs> everyone else in the campaign, their characters are actually stupid. Like, that's just how their characters are. We play with a, um, let me introduce you guys to the team real quick, actually. Um, we play with a half-orc barbarian named Gromash. He believes he's really, really smart, uh, but he's really not. <laughs> and he carries a book with him everywhere, and he writes down, like, everything that happens, and then he posts that into our Discord group as, like, a recap. But he does so, like, in the voice of Gromash the Half-Orc. It is hysterical. Um, we also play with a small elf child. Um, elves age differently than humans do so he's like the equivalent of six months old but he looks like 12 and he's a small elf boy uh named vincent and he is a cleric and uh no one really knows where he came from he kind of just literally jumped out of the ether and no one knows how this like elf child has all this cleric knowledge and uh he's also kind of creepy and does dead things sometimes and it's really weird and no one knows anything about him um so he's fun and then we also have a uh elf ranger named alonzo who is also stupid but doesn't know it uh he just rolled really low for intelligence so he's just actually really dumb um but he's great um <laughs> that's kind of his whole character i don't really know much about his character either besides he's a ranger and he's kind of dumb um my husband plays with us too he's actually gone through two characters because the first one died um <laughs> i'll just i'll just tell the story it's Okay, so he started playing a gnome alchemist at first. That was his first character. And to be fair, 
he didn't quite know how to play this character because his character is like a homebrew, which means that like you kind of make it up, like kind of make it up yourself and have to like kind of determine your own rules. Uh, but there are some rules that he did have to follow. But anyway, so basically his character could pull, like could like go into his backpack and pull out potions. So we get into a slight, um, n there wasn't even any fighting going on. Uh, we were investigating these orphans that that we thought they were in trouble. So we see these guards coming our way with a child in tow and we all kind of panic. And uh, my husband decides to throw a smoke bomb. So now everyone is more panicked. Now the guards are going to start attacking. And then uh, he also throws a jar of acid into the smoke which ends up hitting a guard killing the guard and also spilling onto the child and seriously disfiguring the child so <laughs> uh that was the exact opposite of what we wanted to do um the barbarian ended up killing the other guard and then we were wanted uh, because we killed guards that were helping children it turns out that the guards weren't hurting the children at all they were just going to move them to an orphanage and we got some really bad information so uh yeah we ended up killing two innocent people and seriously disfiguring a child so that was bad and uh, because of that my character and my husband's character, uh, his name is Nitsua, the gnome or dwarf, I can't remember which, uh, we got captured by the bandits because, uh, you know, we were uh, wanted for killing people. So uh, what ended up happening was my poor character Serendipity was like, I didn't want to kill any children. I didn't want to kill anybody. I just wanted to help people. So the guards actually took pity on me and uh, pinned it all on Nitsua and then they executed him. And then my husband had to create a new character. Um, his new character is great. His name is Sebastian and he is a paladin, human paladin. And he actually rolled... <laughs> He's like, I want my character to be really attractive. And the DM was like, okay, roll for it. And he rolled like an 18. So uh, now his character is like a super attractive <laughs> male paladin. Um, and he's also the only one who knows about my character's changeling abilities because we grew up together, apparently. Uh, we kind of fit that into our backgrounds. So yeah, uh, that is our campaign. <laughs> this video is already kind of getting rambly. If you guys would like to hear more D&D stories, I can definitely do that. Um, I do want to draw the other characters in the campaign uh, because I think it'd be a fun thing. So, and there's like so many more stories I could tell too. We meet every day for like a good few, or not every day, every week for a solid few hours. So I have lots of fun stories to tell. Um, oh, real quick. Also, uh, my character Serendipity, slash fee uh lost her foot and was very upset about it and we had to go on a whole quest to get her foot back uh if you guys want to hear that story i can tell you that next time um but anyway thank you guys for being here and watching this video with me uh thank you for being patient i know i've kind of been taking a long break but i have lots of personal stuff going on right now which is a whole other story but i appreciate you guys being here i hoped you enjoyed listening to my D, &D rambles um and yeah i love you guys I I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!